What's up guys, day seven. I am leaving the comfort of comfortable Greenville. It is a cool nine degrees here in town. Heading back out to the beast. Gonna try and tame the beast one more time. Moosehead Lake. Gonna try to go for some togue today on the southwest shore, either around Moose, Whiskey, Harfer Point, somewhere around there, depending on where I can get on. And then I will trailer over to where home base camp set up and make sure everything's all right there and settle in for a good night over there. Sleep on the ice, maybe brook trout fish, maybe lake trout fish tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully have a couple good days left on Moosehead. Yesterday was an absolutely amazing day. I got to snowmobile with a good friend of mine into a remote pond. I'm not gonna disclose the location because it's his spot, not my spot. I didn't film a lot in there for that reason, but we got some footage to show you from inside the shack and some fish catch catches. We ended up catching about 20 togue or so, all but one on the jig rod. And the biggest one may be close to four pounds. So all in all, great day, a lot of fun. Typical for this trip, Wayne, my friend Wayne got a flat tire going in, then he rolled his sled and we had a hard time getting that back up and then the other sled wouldn't get going or start. So we ended up going and taking my snowmobile. It was just one of those days where not a lot of things went right. At the end of the day with persistence and the right attitude, we ended up having a great day and a lot of fun. So that was a lot of fun fishing with Wayne. I look forward to doing that a lot more in the future. Now yeah, looking for a place to park here near Harford's Point, a buddy of mine said, there was a public parking area, but I'm not seeing it. Looks like a ton of no trespassing signs and a lot of uh, private property. I'm gonna swing on out of here if I don't see anything on this little loop of a road for parking and see about finding another parking spot, maybe further up the lake a little bit and getting out on the lake as soon as I can. It looks like I found a pretty cool spot to park. It's called Kelly's Landing down in Greenville Junction down the south end of the lake. So I'm gonna park here, shoot a couple miles up to that Harper Point, look around over there, Moose Island, Whiskey Island, and see if I can find some tow. This is where I was shooting for, so I'm gonna check it on the Google Maps. No, that's not All right, cool. Yeah, so I'm. That is, this is Moose Island here, and this is kind of where I wanted to check. I'm gonna check here, and that next one's Deer Island. But I'm gonna drill some holes, use the Garmin, the pan optics, look around, see if there's any depth, see if there's any lake trout.
Yeah, no, just jigging. Oh yeah, good for you, man. Yeah, they're uh, just starting to pick up a little bit. Yeah. I just lost something pretty good. How much water you got there? I got 85. I only got like 45 on the last shot I just got. Yeah, if you go out like only 30 foot more, you'll be in like 70. Okay. Yeah, there's a, there's a nice drop off right yeah, there. I saw that on the map, but I couldn't tell exactly where I was. Yeah, there's it's a pretty, it's real steep there. There's huge yeah. boulders right there. I, I kind of looked at that this morning. There were some fish around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah a, I, was just, I was actually going to do that this morning, drive around and just jig a little bit, but I figured you better set up for a little while. After that, so. Yeah, that's a lot better. Like that thing would eat a shot. Hey, buddy. Hell yeah, yeah. That thing would eat a shiner like I'm that doing. and have no problem or a smelt like that. Yeah. You having fun ice fishing? Yeah, fun. That's what's nice about that buggy. Yeah. Out of the wind and you guys yeah. take a nap in there. Nice. Yeah. Just enough. All right. Cool. All right. Well, good luck to you, man. You too, guys. Take care. Yep. We'll see you. All right, guys. I made it back to base camp. Everything is all still just the way I left it. Well, actually close. Everything's frozen. <laughs> Even more than when I left it. But nobody messed with anything. That was great. Everything's in tune. I'm going to set some traps for some brook trout. Got about an hour left in the day. And then tomorrow I think is going to be my last day. Tomorrow's going to be day eight up here. And I am going to go as hard as I possibly can for brook trout. I'm going up the shore maybe a mile or so. There was some really nice gravelly, jagged, kind of some brooks look like running in. I'm going to go in that area and just hammer on them. And got some snow coming tomorrow. Got some a little bit more snow coming the next day. And that, that day I'm going to probably try to pack up early. So day seven is coming to a close right now. Might set some cuss traps tonight. Might not. I haven't decided yet. Come on, baby. Do something. Yeah, there's, there's one there. Got it, small. Look at that brook trout. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> got my biggest brook trout so far this trip, and now I officially have my smallest one this trip too. I'm going to hold that up for you. Manhandle this thing. There it is, folks. There's a future seven pounder right there. I'm going to hold it out as far as I can so it looks like a giant. Look at that little tiny brook trout and all those colors. Let's send it back. <laughs> <laughs>